why I can't get up. These past two months have been the best in over a year. I know you don't believe me because I'm never here, but things are truly looking up now that summer is near. Also, the voices in my head are harder to hear because the people that I meet were good intentions from ear to ear. The truth is that the shadows used to last much longer than just the morning. And I take lack of motivation over boring, apathy that straps me to my bed, roaring to feel any other type of emotion besides depression. Now the words that doctors ask me are melancholy. Are you taking in more or less calories? Do you find any pleasure in your hobbies? Do you feel worthless, like a disappointment to your family? Do you have a self-harm or suicidal mentality? And honestly, I'm sure the pills they give do help me. I think I'm on my ninth or my tenth one, but please remember that medication isn't always the key because the most important remedy is changing the thoughts that are inside of me. I also know that the wars in my mind are designed partially by evolution's divine chemical reason. So I should stop blaming the world for what I see as God's treason because you can't have summer in all four seasons. Now, I know that I can only blame myself for filling my body with anything possible to numb the pain. But sometimes the voices in my head are just too loud for me to contain. At times, I feel as if I harbor two brains because they argue, smear, and shout to me as clear as day without any refrain. At times, I must admit, it is hard to stay sane. But now, I have friends who are funny and kind, yet shy, and a grandma and sister who are as sweet as pie, and a psychiatrist who would never lie. I've even met a boy with eyes so big and blue, they made me want to cry. Yes, now I have reasons not to die. I am happy to say that I am growing back my heart from when it was torn, beaten, and broken apart. From now on, I must remember that my scars are a piece of art, and I am so glad that I can add, I am grateful, to my cart. To my collection of things not lost in the war, yes, I now have more than just one thing to live for, no more episodes of me crying on the bathroom floor, alone, trying to decide how much more I can take. But I survived the losses to learn to win. I've taught myself to keep up my chin. I'm even learning to have a body to be comfortable in without leaving marks on my skin. But most importantly, I've learned that having a mental illness is not a sin. So if you've ever felt sad or anxious, we are kin. Therefore, even though I don't show up for class, just know that I am safe because this too shall pass.